is a beginning to every story, and Racing Stripes is no exception. Read on to see what happened before the rainstorm began. Stripes was discovered by Nolan, and racing history was changed forever. Lightning splits the sky, illuminating a road sign. Welcome to Kentucky, the bluegrass state, home of the Kentucky Open. Events about to occur at this very spot will defy all odds and eventually turn the entire world of horse racing upside down. Meanwhile, hundreds of miles away, the pelican named Goose hides from henchbirds of Johnny Storconato. The fast-talking Goose swears he was just helping Johnny's chick out of her nest, but the bird boss ain't buying it. If he doesn't hurry up and hightail it out of town, this Goose will be cooked. Back in Kentucky, a circus boss checks his watch and surveys the darkening horizon. Rolling thunder grows ever closer as workmen help a zebra lying on the cold, hard ground, attempting to give birth to an uncooperative foal. Not even out of the womb, Stripes already has a mind of his own. Not far away sits the Dalrymple Estate, where hundreds of horses live and train. Until this past year, it was virtually a given that the Kentucky Open champion would be bred by Clara Dalrymple, Kentucky's first lady of horse racing. Times have changed, and experts attribute her losing streak to the retirement of her head trainer, Nolan Walsh. Inside the Dalrymple facility, Clara and her new trainer, John Cooper, watch a much different birth take place. A team of vets equipped with state-of-the-art technology await the birth of the son of three-time Kentucky Open champion, Sir Trenton. The tiny Walsh farm is dwarfed by the Dalrymple estate. So distraught after a riding accident took the life of his beloved wife, Carolyn, Nolan Walsh gave up horse training to become a farmer. He's indifferent about his new occupation, but his heart is so broken that he can no longer pursue his first love. Nolan strokes the head of his 13-year-old daughter, Janning, who lies in bed and stares at the wall. Her mother was her hero, and although it has been almost a year since her loss, Channing is still devastated. Nolan tells her that he hates to leave her on such a dreary night, but he needs a part for the broken down tractor, and it won't wait until Monday. Nolan Walsh isn't the only one who misses the challenge of horse treat. The feisty little Shetland pony Tucker used to work side by side with Nolan to prepare the racers. The matriarch of the farm, Franny, is a wise old goat. She keeps Tucker and all the other animals in line. As for Reggie the rooster, well, let's just say that if brains were automobiles, Reggie would be pedaling a tricycle. The local racetrack, site of the Kentucky Open, is deserted, except for a solitary figure who slumps in a trackside seat and snores. It's Woodsy. Sly as a fox, Woodsy is always looking for a betting angle, and he's been known to cash a ticket or two on a long shot. Two horseflies, Buzz and Scuzz, lounge on the brim of Woodsy's hat. I told you it was gonna rain. My left wing has been stiff for two days. That doesn't mean it's gonna rain, dummy. It just means you're old. These two bigger non-stop, but without one another, they'd be lost. With one last push from his mother, Stripes finally enters the world. He struggles to stand on spindly legs and instinctively begins to circle his mother. Minutes after baby zebras are born in the wild, they have the ability to distinguish their mother's stripe pattern and recognize her in a herd of thousands. The storm closes at a furious pace and nightfall isn't far behind. No time to linger! He orders the workmen to load the zebras back into the wagon while the first trucks in the caravan begin to pull out, rushing to stay ahead of the weather. Back at the Dalrymple stables, a much-anticipated birth takes place. Clara Dalrymple and John Cooper regard the new foal with supreme pleasure. The son of Sir Trenton is magnificent. He will be called Trenton's Pride. Sir Trenton approaches his son and delivers a proclamation. You are heir to a legacy. Your sole purpose as my son is to carry on my tradition and to win my race and to bring honor to my name. 
Nolan Walsh waves at the owner of the parts store and rushes to his truck. The rain is much stronger than when he entered the store just a few minutes ago. As Nolan jumps into his truck and surveys the sky, he laments his decision to venture out on such a dreadful night. As the last circus truck rushes to catch up to the rest of the caravan, the left rear tire blows. The driver of the truck struggles to keep control and barely manages to avoid a horrible accident. In order to lighten the stress of the tire jet, the workmen remove the zebras from the back of the wagon. Even so, it's a major struggle to change the tire in the blinding rainstorm. Chaos reigns. Who is keeping track of all the animals in the blinding storm? Nolan Walsh struggles to keep his truck on the road. His worn-out windshield wipers are no match for the pouring rain. He takes a peek at the picture of his late wife, Carol, taped to his dash. Nolan's mind wanders as he continues down the road, oblivious to the fact that in a few short moments, just around the bend, Destiny awaits. <laughs>